And there'll be more from Floyd on next week's show. But now it's time to find out whether Jay, who's moving further away from me over there, will be facing food heaven or food hell. Well, everybody here has made their minds up. Food heaven, of course, would be chicken, particularly chicken thighs, pad thai, with loads of your favourite ingredients. And here we've got these little things are called crevette gris. Uh, they use these for Morecambe shrimps and that kind of stuff, the potted yeah. shrimps, which are lovely. We've got uh, usual sort of pad thai, we've got some tamarind, we've got some noodles, and we've got the uh, peanuts in there with ginger and bean sprouts. That's lovely. what you possibly lovely. wanted. That's what I wanted. However, he changed his yeah. mind. <gasps> <laughs> He's gone for hell. <gasps> Because we've got our loved up couple over there, <laughs> wanted heaven. Thank so it was you. fundamentally down to this chap over here. <laughs> Alternatively, it could have been the old lamb, which we've got there with the kidneys, language hot pot. There's different variants over it. Some, say, some people say it's got oysters in there, but there's loads of different variants. This is sort of one that I was sort of brought up with. What do you think Francesco decided? I think he would have gone with heaven. Because he's a he nice didn't, guy. He didn't. He went for hell. <laughs> he went for hell as well. Do you need to say that? So that's what you've got. There you go. So we'll lose this out of the way. True colours. Yes, oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, true yeah, colours yeah. come out, you see. I'm going to look more and more than English. English. Right, so if you could peel Don't and slice exactly. me the potatoes <laughs> for our Lancashire hot pot. Now over here, I'll explain what we've got here. Now we've got... This is... Oh, you can take the kidneys and you can show us how to prepare those. So yeah. grab the sort of lamb kidneys over there. Okay. Like I said, yeah, these that. are not traditional <clears> in the recipe. Some people leave them out. Some people use oysters because oysters were a free food back then because this was a dish for the poor because it was just basically potatoes and better scrag end or middle neck chops or anything like that. But fundamentally, lamb, particularly this cut, is very... Whoa. What is that, neck? What is that? This is, this is neck fillet. There you go, good guess. It's the part of the animal that does the most amount of so. work, requires the most amount of cooking, but it's the best tasting. Yep. Oh, it sounds great. So, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell at all. So a lamb that does that all the time, you see? So when Brilliant. it eats, eats the grass... It's going to bar at me, isn't it? Well, no. <laughs> but some not bit, anymore. No, not anymore. <laughs> but you can actually no get this uh, uh, on the bone as well. You can put, just cut straight through the neck chops yeah, and nice. stuff like that, which is really nice. Yeah. But this is really expensive. It's only sort of five quid a kilo. It's not a lot of money, this sort of stuff as well. But like I was saying, there's quite a bit of sinew in there, but it does lend itself really well. Look at the inside of that. Look, you're going to feed me that. No, him, there. Him, you're gonna make him eat you there. That. Yeah. These are Adam, Adam. These, are, these, are, these, are, uh, these yeah. are lamb kidneys. These are lamb kidneys, but there's a way of preparing them. So show us how so to like, prepare um, these little kidneys. Yes, yeah, so a couple of them. So it comes like that, lamb kidneys. They're a lovely thing, lamb kidneys, especially in things Is like it? this. And with you, you want them either like squid, under just really quickly cooked, nice and pink. Lovely pink. Yeah. Or really well cooked in, in like a stew like this. So cut them straight down the centre <laughs> and there's a big piece of You're gristle. selling it there. Yeah. <laughs> big piece of gristle. <laughs> big piece of gristle there. You've got to cut that out because it doesn't uh, dissolve in the cooking. I'd cut that piece out and then just chop them into equal sized pieces like that. Right. Really simple. Beautiful. Nice, nice. There's a thing called deviled kidneys. Yes. <clears throat> where, you, where you fry them up, you get a little bit of um, Tabasco, Worcester. My English mustard in there, mm. and uh, on a piece of toast, deviled, deviled lamb kidneys are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, delicious, but the secret yeah. is to remove smell that. At all, no way. Remove that it doesn't bit. smell at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, you've got to remove that middle bit. It's chewy. Now, it's like Adam was saying, with, with kidneys, you either cook them very, very quick, and they are great deviled on toast and stuff like that with mushrooms and stuff like that. Alternatively, you cook them slowly, which I'm doing in here. Now, the traditional way of Lancashire hot pot wouldn't be so much the brown in the meat. It would basically be just a cold pot, Layers of onions, layers of uh, lamb, potatoes, all the way up. Water, baked in the oven for a long time. All right. Oh, this absolutely is, this is... devastating. No, no, this is... <laughs> there you go. Well, this is right. Okay. There you go. So all we do is we basically. I'm just browning this. Now this, what this will do, and I know a Yorkshireman. I'm cooking Lancashire hot pot, and the people over in Lancashire will probably have a thing or two to say about what I'm doing. However, this is how I was taught with my grandmother how to make this one. Right. But what she did was brown the meat. All right. Now, browning the meat isn't normally a thing that I would say. It would be a cold pot and you would lay it all up. But browning the meat in stages, that's, what, that's the key to this. So you can see the meat has got a bit of colour on it. Now, the reason why I do it in stages is that it reduces the temperature of the pan down. If you put too much meat in it, it ends up sweating, okay. like I'm doing in this jumper for 90 minutes on my <laughs> TV. <laughs> <laughs> right, kidneys cooking away now. They, they're Prepping those up nicely, nice yep. sort of nice size of those. I, not too small. I think I overcook when I brown meat. If that's how you're supposed to do it, that's not a lot at all, is it? Because you need a proper thick base yeah. pan, all right? You can't really do this in a frying pan. You've got to use whatever pan you're going to cook in. You've got to use that, and this is a proper right. heavy base pan. 
Um, and it is really important when you're doing that because it retains the heat more than anything else for these things. You can also use um, mutton or, or hoggit for, for this mutton. instead. Well, you, you can, can, can... this time of year you get hoggit. It's yeah. a year old lamb. When it starts yeah. to get its incisors, it turns into a hoggit. It's not something off Harry Potter. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It turns into a hoggit and yeah. then basically after that then it'll turn into mutton. Mutton's two oh, years old. That's right, yeah. yeah. Two years old, yeah. yeah. How do you want this on you, Julian? Nice, Julian. Sorry, <laughs> Juliana. Sorry, Juliana. Sliced. <laughs> <laughs> sliced. Yeah, just sliced. Juliana is nice. Yeah. I need all the onions, chef, and I need some of that garlic chopped. Okay. Keep the onions and the garlic separate, please. All right, so sir. mutton right. is cheaper. Is hog it even? Mutton's it... cheaper. Then yeah. you go to hog it, and okay. then you go to lamb's okay. more expensive. So and then you yeah. go to milk fed lamb. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? And then you go to milk fed lamb, and you're in a different league altogether. And then it gets yeah. very, very expensive. So. Yeah. Right. How are we doing with our onions, chef? Uh, yeah, there. Hurry up. Come on, chop, chop. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to eat this. I will, but I don't want to. Well, that's the whole point of, <laughs> point of food hell, isn't it, really? I tried to make it a little bit more exciting for you, right? Oh, thanks. Can I get these onions before you yes, chop please. my finger off? <laughs> right, so. can we go with the onions? Now, as I was saying, this would be done normally, One layered. More. Yeah. They go in with some butter, which you've got in there. So the colour is very different on this one. So in we go with that. We just cook the onion slightly without colour, really. In goes the garlic, chef. I think it's a lot to do with the pot, then, isn't it? A lovely big size. Well, it pot is. Like you, you know, it's one of those things. It retains that, the heat, doesn't it? Yeah, as well. it's worth investing in something like one of yeah. these things because yeah. it does retain the heat more than anything else. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not that you're going to ever cook no. this dish again, but <laughs> no, it's great but for beef generally. stew and stuff like yeah, that. Exactly. Wonderful, wonderful. I do a lot of beef stews. So sweat the onions. Garlic goes in because we don't want to burn that garlic. Now at this point we can pop the lamb back in. Now to thicken that, sometimes you would then coat the lamb in flour before you seal it. I actually do it afterwards. Yeah. So that way you can judge the amount of flour that you want for it. So bay leaves have gone in. Touch of flour, just a dusting of flour over the top, not too much. Water. Uh, not yet, Chef. No? Yeah, yeah earlier a couple of minutes. Okay. Use a spoon. There you go. Now this flour will help thicken it, yeah. but you need to cut the flour out, so don't put the stock in at this point, otherwise you get lumps in it. See, I normally put the stock in and then sieve in the flour, so that's wrong, is it? That's yeah. really wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's really wrong. <laughs> yeah. Really, really wrong. Really. What are you doing? Fact, you couldn't get any more wrong than that. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Not like for beef, I'd right. roll it, the beef in the flour. Stop. But you know, sometimes it's not thick enough. Jay, it's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just wrong. <laughs> then we go with the stock. You see, you've got dark stock, produce a darker okay. sauce. A little bit of that. We're going to chop that up. Fresh thyme. Traditionally, you would Lovely. use water as well. You would use water, it'd be layered yeah. all up. But yeah. basically, yeah. what you're saying yeah. is this isn't anything to do with lamb chop or at all. That's James. Hot. Again, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, so we're going to pop the kidneys in. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Yeah, yeah it's great. The kidneys like that. And then. Worcestershire sauce. Lovely. Ooh. That's the only nice thing so far. Do you know this was invented by a mistake? Oh. By some chemists. I don't know what they were making downstairs yeah. <laughs> in the cellar, but they made something and left it in a barrel. And uh, it was two chemists that actually, I'm assuming it's Lee and Perrin, I suppose. But yeah, anyway, there you go. But yeah. we put the, literally that in there. Very and, uh, well. Yeah, it's been around for hundreds of years. Just and you put that in there, Worcestershire sauce. It's quite salty. Mm. So what you want to do is season that with some black pepper. Black yep. pepper. I think black pepper is I'll do it myself. <laughs> there, you go. Fire, Fire. <laughs> there you go. Black pepper. And we make sure it's properly seasoned, because there's no way of seasoning it afterwards, because in we go with the potatoes, which the boys are going to layer up. All right, I'll do it myself. It's all right, it's all right. do for you. I'll do it myself, it's fine. fine. That goes all on there. Peas have gone in. Can you actually look after the peas, please? I'll, right? I'll watch the yeah. peas. How about this garlic? Yeah. Yeah. So, like I was saying, normally this would be layered up with the, uh, the lamb and the onions and water, like you were saying. And how long is that one in the oven, James? Ooh, two hours, something like that, do you think? Oh, three, I went three four hours. Oh. Unfortunately, we've got one ready made. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this wants to go about 160, like that. Now, if you want to be fancy like Adam and layer these all on the top <laughs> into a flower, <laughs> that's fine. That's correct, James. It's not fancy, it's called correct. Just stick it on there. Perfecto. Yeah. Lay it on the side. Have you got any butter? Yeah. We do, Sam, yeah. 
butter here. There you go. That would Thank be you. melted in my book, painted on with a paintbrush. Just it'd be melted, painted you'd, you'd, on with a paintbrush. You would drizzle, you'd paint all the all the all the butter, all the potato nicely. It'd also clarify. Just sprinkle that with a bit of butter. Do you want me to bring the this other one? This is cooking out? for people at home. You see, right? Lid on. Do you want? Oh, that one in, that one out. Heavy stuff. No, that's not going to happen, is it? So we're just having peas on oh, the side. Oh, that one going there. So I can really taste it. Just a bowl them. of peas. That's oh, all you're having. Oh. Now these just get drained off and literally cook frozen peas 30 seconds, no more. So I would ignore what it says on the packet, two, three minutes. Otherwise they go all wrinkly. There you go. Right, how are we doing? Beautiful. This is the thing about cooking dishes like this, on there. Now, handsome. Okay, that does look quite nice. That's great. Well, obviously, as you can see, somebody else put the potatoes on this one rather than me. Yeah. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, and, yeah. and brushed all there. the potatoes with butter. There you <laughs> go. Butter with butter, yeah. But you see, this is why it looks like that. That's what Lancashire hot pot should be. Very nice. And this has got the lid off for about a good look forward 45 to that kidneys, minutes. Yeah. You smell the kids. This is proper there. winter warmer grub, you see. Yeah. Very nice. I almost nice. don't want to put the peas with it. Neither do I. But unfortunately, <laughs> I'm going to. Yeah. They were my other that. food hell. That's the whole point of this show. <laughs> and you put the peas on it as well. A little bit of butter on top. And a little bit of butter on there. Now, although you may say that that's food hell, but I'm sure a lot of people watching this Lovely. will definitely, definitely like be it. food. Mm. There you go. Have a dive into that. Can you bring the pot over there? Very good. Can you bring the glasses over, guys? Put the pot here. To go with this, uh, Peter has chosen the Graham Beck Anthony's Yard 2009 from Majestic at uh, six pound oh, yeah. thirty nine pence. <laughs> Knife and fork over there. Try it. You've got to try it. Oh, Come on, dive in. Yeah. <laughs> All you want. And then, just because everybody wants to know, show us the ring. <laughs> show us the ring. There you go. Where are we? Oh. Camera three. There oh, we go. Well done. Yay. Well done. Congratulations. There you go. Congratulations. There you go. Try it. <laughs> I'm, I on. love food so much. There are only two things I don't like. Land there you go. Well, she dives into that. Well, that's off today on Saturday Kitchen. Thanks to Francesco Matze, Adam Byer, right. and Jay Jacobs, who will try it in a minute. Uh, cheers to Peter Richards for the wine choices. And congratulations to our chef table guests, Carla and Paul. You should be the one holding that. There you go. <laughs> well, join us next week at the usual time at 10 o'clock. Thank you very much. You've tried it. It's not that bad, is it? Anyway, you.